So Village Health Works is an organization that's been operational since about 2006. Uh, we're a New York-based NGO. We operate in Burundi, which is uh, in East Central Africa, bordered by Rwanda to the north, uh, the Congo to the to the west, and Tanzania, sort of around the the east and southern sides of the country. It's a landlocked country. Um, it's one of the poorest countries in the world and has some of the worst health outcomes uh, and statistics in the world. So, uh, it's, Village Health Works was started in 2006 and was started as a community-led organization uh, that has allowed us to build uh, really from the grassroots up and we have had phenomenal success working with the community that we serve to uh, help us develop the programs, guide the programs, to staff the organization. Um, and then we've had friends from the states who have participated both as donors and uh, also as experts who've come in to help us develop our uh, local capacity. And that really is, in many ways, the goal for us is to be an institution of teaching uh, so that we can make sure that our work is sustained over time. So I think a lot of people do often get confused as to uh, the differences between uh, countries on the, the continent and distinguishing between them and the different issues that each one faces. And they, they are, of course, uh, unique uh, in, every, in every country and, and within that, within every community. Uh, Village Health Works strives to really focus on the particular needs of our community and then as we work with and mentor and teach other organizations, uh, we try to help them understand how they can provide similar services uh, for their community. But of course those are not going to be the same because no one community is the same as the next. So part of the, the teaching process for us is helping other organizations figure out how to adapt some of the concepts, uh, some of the strategies, uh, etc. to the particular situation that they find themselves in. So Village Health Works is really at an exciting moment right now. We're, we're doing a few things both here in the U.S. and over in Burundi. Uh, in the U.S., we've really started a whole new effort at community outreach, and that's very exciting for us, uh, both working with uh, on college campuses with students as well as with book clubs who may have read the book uh, Strength and What Remains by Tracy Kidder, which is about our founder. Uh, so doing community outreach is a really exciting opportunity for us to, uh, to build awareness about not just Village Health Works, but really about Burundi and this region that is one of the most, I would say, forgotten places on Earth. Many people know about Rwanda, many people know about uh, Ethiopia or Uganda or Kenya, but Burundi has really been lost in the shuffle in many ways and is really forgotten by the international community. So uh, helping raise awareness and using community outreach as a way to do that has been, uh, is an exciting new endeavor for us. Over in Burundi, we're about to meet our goal for a major new capital project, which is our Women's Health Pavilion. And that's really going to be our signature, uh, signature structure and is going to be the first advanced uh, maternal health uh, operation in the entire region, not just the entire country. Uh, it's a structure that has two operating rooms, four delivery suites, 50 inpatient beds, and it's going to be the first time that uh, women are going to be able to access uh, particularly uh, emergency obstetrics. So for us, that's a huge goal and we're really excited that's going to happen. Uh, we'll break ground for that in the next few months as we hopefully uh, reach our, our capital goal. and we're painfully close to doing that, so uh, that's really an exciting piece programmatically. There's all kinds of things that people can do to help, um, and I would mention a couple. First of all, uh, there's awareness building and sharing uh, 
some of the stories from Village Health Works that you can find on our blog or on the website, on Facebook, etc. The, the website is just villagehealthworks.org. Uh, but we try to do a lot to keep people up to date about what's happening on the ground and changes that are, that are happening and new developments. Uh, so helping us broaden that, that network of awareness uh, would be great. For students, there are a lot of opportunities. Uh, both our new uh, fellowship program that we're doing, which is a year-long commitment to the organization to do a variety of events and projects, um, to internships in New York. Uh, so there's, there's lots of opportunities there for people who want to get involved. Many people ask me about donating books or clothing. Uh, the truth is, it costs so much to ship things there that at the end of the day, it's really not efficient. So if people are able to make contributions in a meaningful amount, whatever that is to them, uh, then that has a huge impact. And in fact, if you go to the website on the, the contribution page, we try to tie different amounts to different things so that you have a sense for what a gift of $100 means on the ground. Um, and for instance, it might mean uh, prenatal vitamins for a hundred women for a month and so you know we want our donors and supporters here to feel really engaged and feel like they have a sense for how they're having an impact how they're making a difference uh, halfway around the world